hi everyone in this video i will show you how to digitize directly from google earth and make point line and polygon shape file of different features using qgs qgs is best for doing this so first go to plugin and then search here quick map services click on and then uh, install plugin the plugin uh, installed successfully close and then go to web and then quick map services and then uh, go to setting and then uh, more services and click here get contributed back and then save and then close uh, QGIS and then restart again So first go to web and then quick map services and then google and google hybrid and select your location where you want to digitize or where you want to make shape file for features and after that uh, click new layer shape file new shape file and then write uh, first i will uh, uh, do for river and then geometry type will be a uh, uh, line and then new field uh, write name uh, new field river and then click on river and uh, then click here and then click here and digitize river and here uh, give the id number and you can write here river name and then click ok you can change the color of uh, river shape file or river line and uh, again uh, I'm, I, I will do for road a new field name road and geometry type will be for line for road and then add to field list and then okay and click on road and click on here editing and then uh, add uh, uh, line and digitize road and then id number uh, one and then you can uh, write here road num road name then okay id two and you can uh, give it a name for your road line and again uh, i will create for charts so geometry type will be point and then uh, new field uh, give it a name and then add to field list and then okay and uh, click here and then edit and then add point so charts here number id one and you can give the charts name here is another charge give the id now id id number and charge name okay here also id number three charge uh, name you can add a uh, similar uh, type of uh, features for like for school geometry type will be point for school and you can uh, write here the name and then add to field list and then click ok click here school and then edit and uh, uh, add point you have to click a first edit and then uh, add point so here is uh, school give a id, ID number and then a school name then click ok you can save here you can save your uh, file and now uh, i'm going to uh, create for polygon uh, file name area and uh, geometry type will be polygon and uh, 
new field uh, i'm going to write area and add to field list and then okay click area and then edit and add uh, polygon so digitize the area uh, boundary I think it is very easy uh, to digitize uh, in this uh, QGIS platform rather than ArcGIS. Uh, give uh, ID number and then area name. And then uh, again, uh, you can uh, digitize other area similarly. for this type of work you can uh, use uh, qgs i think uh, it will be very helpful for you and uh, very feasible for you you can change the uh, color and uh, fill also uh, you can give uh, only uh, outline you can also change the uh, symbol double click here and you can and you will get uh, so many symbol uh, from here so i have digitized uh, these features now i will uh, create map layout so i'm going to uh, give it a name as uh, uh the village then okay here's the map layout so i'm going to add here the uh digitized map so you have to add map you have to uh uncheck from here and then refresh yeah extent frame from add item uh, add legend and uh, you have to remove uh, that you don't want in map layout or you have to uncheck so title uh, for legend frame you can frame it and add level the map title right here in main properties and then add north arrow and add a scale bar we can save or print the map from layout save as type you will find here so many uh, type so i'm going to save it at png format and then export resolution you can increase the resolution from here and then save so here is our uh, final uh, map